All right, we've got the 1960 Cadillac on this side of the garage here because I've got to do some work to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that brake booster out of there because it seems to be sticking still. I've had it out two or three times, I can't remember, to try to clean it up and make it work right, but I think what's happening is the piston, the big piston in there is getting stuck in the drum and it's uh, keeping the brakes from coming back all the way. You can kind of see, see what I'm talking about here. This should come up farther than it is. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's causing, uh, it was causing the brake lights to stay on. I adjusted the switch to cure that, but unfortunately the brakes are also dragging just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and tear it apart again, but I've got a rebuild kit for it, so hopefully... I can get that out of there, get that apart, and clean it up and make it work right. Alright, I got it out. I think I've had way too much practice with this because it only took a few minutes. And most of that was unthreading these fine thread nuts. But now that we got it out, let's go ahead and get our workbench set up here. Oh yeah, that'll do nicely. And uh, let's get her apart and see what's inside. All right, I've gone ahead and I've taken the eight screws off the uh, back of the booster here. And in all honesty, it should pop open. There should be spring pressure there, but it is not. So the piston is definitely stuck in there. So there's a decently powerful spring on the back of this that should just pop it right out. So, yeah, we're going to have to, I think, fight to get that out. And I'll show you inside once I get it. Alright, I wiggled the piston around a little bit, and uh, as you can see, I got it out of here. And as you can see, that should have popped right out when I opened her up. I think what's happening is this thing's getting in there just a little bit crooked, and uh, not allowing it to push up. And it looks like there's a little bit of, little bit of goo in there we're going to have to wipe out and clean that up. But I think once I get that cleaned up, and uh, probably get a new seal on this thing, kind of cruddy and nasty. Put a new seal on that, it might just work. But we'll get this cleaned up first and then we'll have to take apart this. There's uh, six bolts in the back, we'll have to take those apart and then uh, replace some of the stuff in there. I suppose I should make sure that we got the right kit. So I think I'll open that up and take a peek. Alright, I went ahead and opened up the kit and it uh, looks like we got all the right parts. So must be the right kit. Also went ahead and uh, cleaned up a lot of that pitting in there and that goo. Some of it though is just too deep. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that off but I think it should hopefully be smooth enough to uh, make that piston slide and not get stuck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tear that thing apart get the new seals on it and we'll put it in there and, and just see if it sticks. Hopefully it won't and everything will work but uh, get that apart and Replace all that crap. All right, we got this thing opened up. Uh, just a couple of springs and a valve deal in there, and uh, not much to them. I'll go ahead and clean that up. And looks like my little spring thing has had seen better days. So I'm going to go out to the other car. We got another brake booster in there. I'll see if that's in any better shape, and maybe we'll use the other one. Uh, just because I. A lot of them little teeth are kind of broke off, so we'll go check that out, tear that one apart, and uh, see if it's in a little better shape. I went and looked at the other piston from the other booster, and all these little fingers on that one are rotted away, so we're just going to have to make do with what we've got here. I wish they would include a new one in the kit, because I imagine this is a fairly common problem. What ends up happening is the master cylinder leaks back into the booster, and then this little seal here, this little wick I think I'll call it, soaks up with brake fluid and uh, brake fluid absorbs water <coughs> and then rusts away all these little fingers so I imagine it's a pretty common issue and I would think they would include that in the kit but we'll get her back together throw our new rubbers in and everything and then uh, hopefully it won't stick anymore alright I got the thing back together Hopefully I put it back together right. Hopefully it works because uh, 
Yeah, if it doesn't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but let's go ahead and throw it back in the car and test her out. Well, as you can see, it's not in the car. Um, I went ahead and put it in, and it didn't work, of course. It's stuck again. And after that, we read the manual, and apparently you're supposed to add some shock absorber fluid to the piston. Well, I've got that by the gallon, but instead, I decided to use some hydraulic jack fluid. And uh, we put that in there, and we worked this thing back and forth and back and forth until it finally started to free up. So now, hopefully, it'll work. I can throw it back in the car, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work. Alright, we got that thing back in there. It seems to be working, sorta. So, let's go for a ride. Should stop. I would just uh, go all out and see what happens. Yeah, plenty of room. So far, so good. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. We took it for a little drive, and uh, I think we had success here. The pedal seems to come up all the way uh, every single time now, so the brakes aren't sticking. This one is adjusted a little bit high, I think, because it pulls to the right when you hit the brakes, but it seems to be working, so I'm happy with it for now. Maybe we'll get a couple more nice days to drive it this year before the snow hits.